When Stephen Fry announced his engagement to Elliot Spencer, who was 30 years his junior, fans were astonished. From backlash over an age gap to bipolar disorder and cancer battle, the couple has been through thick and thin in the last six years. Today, we're talking about their meet cute, perseverance, and joy, including how they threw everybody off the scent, getting married just days after the announcement. When they met at a friend's house party, Stephen knew pretty much straight away that Elliot was someone he wanted to spend the rest of his life with. Don't know whether he thought the same because he's got rather a lot more to go than me, Fry said. Though the couple were very private about their romance, they were spotted spending time together often. Elliot was known as Mr. E before he and Steven decided to unveil their relationship to the world. Ah, <laughs> how sweet is that? In June 2014, Elliot accompanied the QI presenter to the Tony Awards. However, the pair did not pose together. Despite this, Spencer gave his followers a clue of who he was there for when he tweeted a picture of chocolates and an image of Fry when he starred in The Twelfth Night. Fans were fairly surprised when the actor revealed his engagement to Elliot in early 2015. Taking to Twitter to make the announcement, Stephen penned, Oh, it looks as though a certain cat is out of a certain bag. I'm very, very happy, of course, but had hoped for a private wedding. Fat chance. But just 11 days later, fans were stunned when they learned that Stephen and Elliot had already tied the knot in a low-key ceremony. Taking to Twitter again, Stephen gushed, Gosh, Elliot G. Spencer and I go into a room as two people, sign a book and leave as one. Amazing. There's my, uh, my ring. It's very exciting. Um, I'm probably the only person who's ever got married, so I can tell you it's really exciting. <laughs> it's great. The couple also had their vows witnessed by a mini Oscar Wilde during the ceremony, as one should. Fry later confessed that he deliberately leaked false information about his wedding to the press in a bid to throw reporters off the scent. The wonderful registrar Linda put a false date into the computer in case it was being hacked or in case there was a mole within the borough. It meant that Elliot and I were able to be conjoined without any photographers or journalists, which was really nice. Proposing, Fry knew his future husband would say yes, because quote, we'd kind of danced around the subject. The whole thing was quite romantic and hilarious. As one does, Stephen bought a ring and decided to surprise his partner. While they were dining, he waited for Elliot to go to the bathroom to put the ring on a fork so that his partner would see it as he started to eat. Charming, isn't it? Of course, he came back and he started chatting and he started playing with the fork and Stephen thought, for God's sake, look at the fork. You don't really ever look at forks, do you? I thought he's going to pick it up and the ring is going to fly off into that lady's soup, Fry said. Fortunately, Spencer just in time caught sight of it and it was a very teary and splendid moment. Uh -huh. Though their marriage was a happy union, the couple faced backlash from fans and the press for their 30-year age gap. And while the pair acknowledges their age difference, it doesn't bother them at all. I don't care what people think, Elliot said. Steven is the love of my life, the light of my life. According to the comedian, what really makes their relationship work isn't aesthetics, financial status, or fame, but something far simpler. We laugh all the time, Spencer said. Humor is the binding thing in our life. I think that's what brought us together. Shortly after their union, though, Fry was embroiled in a drama over a BAFTA joke, which saw him describe costume designer Jenny Bevan as a bag lady. As she left the stage, Stephen jested, Only one of the great cinematic costume designers would come to an award ceremony dressed as a bag lady. Twitter users were quick to condemn him, with one writing, not sure what was worse, Stephen Fry making that crass comment about Jenny Bevan or the audience laughing. Time for a new presenter, hashtag BAFTA. While another added, Why I do not like it, Stephen Fry. He expects everyone to sit back and assume a horrible insult is a well-meaning joke. It turns out, that's precisely what it was. Stephen hit back in an explicit message on his own profile, writing, So just a word to the tragic figures who think calling Jenny Bevan a bag lady was an insult? She's a dear friend, and she got it. Durr. Though he later had to add, Will all you sanctimonious fuckers fuck the fuck off? Jenny Bevan is a friend, and joshing is legitimate. Christ, I want to leave the planet. He then shared a photo of himself cuddling up next to Jenny after the ceremony with the sarcastic caption, Jenny bag Lady Bevan and Steven outrageous misogynistic swine fry at the hashtag EEBAFTAS after party. 
Although most people expressed surprise and concern when Fry announced his nuptials to Spencer, they're still going strong. During an appearance on The Jonathan Ross Show, the actor mused over his marital bliss, saying, It's fabulous, there's the... That's my ring. Oh, wow. Um, it's terrific, it gets better every day. I, I'll sound really childish if I keep doing this, but it is, it's like a, it's like a miracle, really. It's just such a wonderful thing. While Stephen keeps most of his personal life off social media, who can blame him, Elliot is more willing to share with the masses. The couple embarked on a trip to Utah in 2017, where they posed for a number of sweet pictures, and even immortalized their visit by cementing their handprints in... cement. Not only do they enjoy the bright days, but since the pair said I do, Elliot has been helping his husband through the ups and downs that come from his bipolar disorder. Due to the condition, Fry has attempted to leave this world twice. Thankfully, both were unsuccessful and he has been outspoken about his cyclothymia, a form of bipolar disorder that made him suffer with that idea daily. In 2012, he took a frightful number of pills and washed them down with a bottle of vodka, vomiting from his comatose and breaking four ribs from the convulsive fit that ensued. There was also his nervous breakdown back in 1995. Steven just walked out of the West End production cellmates. He was appearing alongside late Rick Mayall. He spent several days contemplating self-slaughter, as he calls it including sitting in a car with thoughts of gassing himself before deciding against it. Instead, he fled the UK, taking a ferry across the channel and winding up in Belgium. In his documentary, The Secret Life of a Manic Depressive, Fry said he never thought he'd return to Britain. To everyone's relief, he did, and is now president of the mental health charity Mind, raising awareness and understanding of mental health problems. And when the Big Sea tragedy struck in 2018, Fry and Spencer survived it together, bringing each other happiness and light. Sharing a 12-minute video on his personal blog, Fry explained why he's been missing from the public eye. For the last two months, I've been in the throes of a rather unwelcome and unexpected adventure. I'm sorry I haven't felt able to talk about it till now, but here I am explaining what has been going on, said the star. The tumor was found after his doctor urged Stephen to have a full body checkup when he had a flu jab before Christmas. In the clip, the QI star revealed he had life-saving surgery and was on the road to recovery. Describing the surgery, the actor said it's like being stabbed five times. Admittedly, you're asleep, and it's all very hygienic, unlike a stabbing in the street. But to the body, it's the same rather traumatic effect, he said. Fry added that there is a chance of cancer coming back, but for now, he's fit and well. During the time, Stephen praised the doctors who carried out the surgery, and also thanked his friends and family for their continuous support. It's all pretty undignified, but my darling husband and few friends that have known have been very kind about it. Admitting he felt like his life was saved by early intervention, he urged men of a certain age to get their levels checked because one in eight men will get prostate cancer. I'm bloody lucky, lucky to be surrounded by such wonderful people, lucky to have had such an incredible team working with me. Here's hoping I've got another few years on this planet because I enjoy life at the moment, and that's a marvelous thing to be able to say, he added. Talking about marvelous things, once the couple got married, fans began to wonder whether Stephen and Elliot would ever decide to expand their family. When asked if he'd like to become a dad, Fry said, No, hmm, let's just say I am a godfather. I have 13 godchildren, which is a source of constant joy. However, the actor added that he's been slightly disappointed by his godchildren, who are all very well behaved. I haven't had to go to a police station to pick one up at 3 in the morning for some terrible offense. And they're all really nice, but in a nice way, not in a way that makes you want to slap them. Just really nice. It's a delight, though. That's all we have for you today, juicers. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. And we'll be right back. Be well and be kind.